the ranch. River City Drift is having their very first drift event of the season, and this is their new venue. So I'm taking the S13 down there. We got it all ready to go, loaded up as you can see, completely loaded down. We've got Brighton and Chris behind me. I've done quite a bit to this car since the last video. Last time we just got this thing running. It freaking runs, dude. But since then, I've done a ton of stuff. I built a bash bar. I finished up all, uh, you know. Here she is out in the daylight. About to go for our first drive here. But we got this thing timed, running pretty smooth. Bled the coolant system, bled all the brakes and the clutch. So I think we're good to go. Let's hit it. First drive is a success. She's running good. Brought it up here to my little neighborhood park. Everybody's out here getting ready for the eclipse today. Meanwhile, I'm out here in a shitbox 240. Smile ear to ear. This thing's looking great, dude. Let's not quiet this bail flat exhaust goes, dude. You can, you can barely even hear it. Successful first go. So when I first did the suspension on this car, I replaced all the bushings and stuff in here. All of them in the spindle and the lower control arms with polyurethane. But learn from me, don't just put these in dry because your suspension will squeak like freaking crazy. And then you'll have to take it apart and grease it like I am. Luckily, I've got these grease things that I can use. I've been tinkering around with this thing. I cleaned it up real good and vacuumed it out. Wiped all the door cards and the dash and stuff down. I think I had some cats living in this thing at some point when it was parked out at Chris's. But I tossed my NRG seat in here. I stuck my old Nardi Gara wheel on here. And I discovered my issue with the starter the whole time was that old button that I wired in here. So I got a new one. Pretty trick. Turn the key forward. All right, we're out here in the Texas Hill Country, logging some miles in this butte right here, getting this SR good and broken in. We're going through a bit of a debacle, getting the rear caliper sorted out. Finally, we're looking good. I tossed my old drilled and slotted rotors off my S14, and we got some Project Move brake pads on there, so hopefully the braking situation is all set here. The e-brake starts working. Solid car. This thing's the coolest, man. Runs and drives great. Can't complain. Yes, sir. Stop for a quick fuel up before we get to the track, but here's a quick peek at the car. It's all complete. Looking good. Real happy with this thing. Hopefully it performs well today. Oh yeah. Here we are. The ranch. We out here. Looks like a freaking military installment. What's up? What's going on, brother? How's it going? Good. Freaking Humvees. All right. Got my wristband. Hey, hey. Brighton's excited. I'm sad, really. Yeah, he's kind of sad. Really His car sad. broke down before he could get here. stuff checked out here hopefully get the okay soon we'll hit the track we're all teched in we got our little mark on the windshield here we'll do a little sight lap this place is massive so it looks like they just sort of manji all this out here this looks cool some elevation change here dude this is rad this is really really cool Look at this place. The weather is freaking perfect today. It's real overcast. It's like 80 degrees. I said we might get some rain. I hope we don't, but. Hey, look at this hairpin in the back. Wow. All right, that was all of South Course. All right, here's North Course. Got a nice.
nice long run up. Feels like you can probably grab third. Obviously we're gonna ease into things. It's got this nice big kick out here so you can huck it really wide. Pretty sweet first turn here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Tons of room to use up the whole track. The turns are just wide enough where you can really run a wide gangster line, I feel like. Heck yeah, dude. Freaking pumped. I think South Course is gonna be the more fun course, but I think we'll start out with North. Let's get some freaking laps in. All right, first lap on North Course. There's Ben and his crazy dog box Z. second or third gear. in this thing started knocking like freaking crazy listen to this thing eee! I'm pretty sure that's valve train let's take the valve cover off let's see what the heck's going on Compression test here. Let's see what's up. Go ahead. Nice. This is actually the first compression test that I've done on this thing since rebuilding it. 150. Respectable, hot, right? Yeah. You're good. Okay. What was that like 130 ish? Uh, I don't even know. Yeah. 131, I call it. We got 131 on number two. Slow, huh? Slow, daddy. Break, dude. You good? That's about 150 in it. It sounded like it was coming from the front of the engine. It really did, didn't it? Oil pressure looks good. We're not hearing it now, are we? No. 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 We're not hearing it more. It quieted down after we started fucking oh, right going to like after All three. All right. And take. One forty five, so you're good. All right, one forty five on the fourth one, so it's like to be expected because cylinder. You're knocking one away. You're knocking, yeah. It's gone. I really don't know, dudes. I mean, all the rockers look good. All the shims are there. All the valve springs look good. There's no way a lifter would make noise like you that. You sure about yeah. that? All right, back together. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Hit it. Yeah, it's starting right up. I 
you guys think? Yeah, no. <laughs> Sounds like it's still knocking. Maybe it's rod knock, I don't know. What's oil pressure look like? I mean, it's got 25 pounds of oil pressure.
see Chris was cool enough to let me drive his car, and I know we got a pretty decent clean lap in. But now Chris is gonna drive, and I'm gonna ride with Chase over there. We're gonna rip with Chase now. Attempting. Certified ripper. He just got a compliment from Aaron Losey, so. Aaron Losey? North, south. South, south. south. this thing. What do you think, Kev? Holy Toledo. We're gonna go up in here like this. They're real nice and deep black. Can you all see that? There's a hole in the block. Is that the rod or the rod cap there? That's the uh, rod. I don't know. Pull on it. I ain't touching that thing. I've been as hot as that. It looks like the crank journal's okay. Yeah, that's what I said. Jesus well, dude, we just can't have nothing nice around here, I guess. What happens? I had a hell of a good time. Yeah. This track is the shit, right? It's the best. So we're gonna put my shit back together. Chris is gonna tow his shit home and then tow me home. Huh? All right, we're gonna do this a little ride along with Mr. Aaron Losey. Still pointing straight, right? Yeah, it's fine. 
<laughs> it's just immediately, yeah, it's fine. Can't tell. You can't even see it? Nope, let's go. I could have sworn that was like T-boning. Alright, we're
home, as you can see. Car is back in the garage in one piece. We still need to tear into this thing again. I'm pretty convinced that I just need to replace the lifter on the intake cam lobe or cylinder one. Take a look at everything in there. I got a new timing chain tensioner as well. We had this thing all apart at the track. There was a little bit of slack in the chain that didn't look so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. But I'm hoping once I do all that, this thing will be running pretty well, not ticking and making a whole bunch of noise like you guys heard. River City Drift Ranch Days 1 was pretty freaking awesome, as you could tell. Got to do a bunch of ride-alongs and have a good time, do a couple laps myself. I uh, can't wait for the next one. Um, I plan to take this thing with me on the next one and maybe bring out the S14 as well. But yeah, the car is still looking pretty good. I'm excited about this thing. I have no real complaints. I know it kind of acted up with the valve train, but I still got one pretty clean lap in this thing. Um, I can't wait to go back and get some more in it. To finish things off, enjoy these clips here of me riding along with Chris. First laps that we were kind of trying to figure the track out. We had a few pretty wild off tracks. And then my first lap when I was driving Chris's car, I looped the car and it stalled and shut off. And uh, I guess the starter signal wire has some kind of an issue and the car wouldn't start. Um, this was right after a blind crest. Brighton and I kind of had our lives flash before our eyes. Uh, we were kind of panicking. Super scary, scariest moment I've ever really had on track like that. But luckily the dude coming up behind us, uh, he's a local guy and he rips a lot on the street. So he's <laughs> pretty dialed. He knows how to keep his eyes ahead. So he shut it down before he crashed into us, but we were pretty scared there for a moment. So here you go, enjoy. <laughs> Dude, we're f Please tell him to stop. Oh my god, dude. Stop. <laughs> they, they got us. You started dying. Sorry, man. I, so you need to push? You need to push? I need to push or pull or whatever you got. <sighs> push start. 